G'day guys, it's James from Commodore Solar. Today I'm going to give you a run through one of our power boards. So the main purpose of our pre-wired boards that we've been making for around 10 years is to make installation easy. So we take all of the complexity out of it. Uh, there's over a hundred checks that we make when we're building these and even after all this time we're still finding small things that we can improve. So powering the system we've got a Victron inverter up here, we've got a Quattro 10 kVA, that's a pretty standard size for running a medium sized house. Uh, we've then we've got our uh, DC charge controller which is a Victron Smart Solar 45100. That can handle about 6.6 .6 kilowatt of solar. Uh, we've got our AC switchboard here. We've got the main switch that you connect your inverter to, uh, main PV switch. So if we've got some AC coupled solar, which we may or may not, that will connect in via the, uh, the PV switch. We've got a sub board, so that's what we connect the, the off-grid system to say your, your shed or your house. We've got two circuits here, which is for your power points. We've got uh, the double GPO and we've got a 15 amp outlet. So here we've got the changeover switch. So it'll be in standalone mode uh, most of the time. And then if you have a problem with your system, you can click it down to generator only and run from generator until you get your system fixed. And then over here, we've got a switch to uh, hardwire your generator. So every off-grid system needs a backup generator. So we work on at least one day of battery backup uh, with a generator. Um, we would typically have a two wire auto start. So your generator will kick in when the batteries get low, it'll kick in automatically. It can also kick in to provide some peak power where required. So just say, for example, uh, your inverter's all tied up running the house, you know, you, you've got the air cons on, uh, you're cooking a roast, and you, most of the inverter power is used uh, powering that. But just say you wanna go do some welding in the shed, or you wanna put the, the car up on the hoist, the generator will kick in automatically to provide some peak power. So then we've got our main uh, battery isolator here. Uh, this is our MPPT DC isolator. Now from here, the battery cables will run through to the battery cabinet and that'll be uh, powered with our Pylon Tech Lithium batteries. Uh, the system's expandable, so you can start with a, a handful of batteries and then just, just say, for example, you're building a shed. You might start off with three batteries and then once you build the house, you can fill your battery cabinet up. You can add more batteries later on. So let's come around here and over here, this is where our, our solar comes in. We've got our DC switchboard, so that's where you'll terminate your solar. And then here, the, the Victron Servo, that's my favorite part of the Victron system. This is where Victron really set themselves apart is their system monitoring. So uh, we'd like to have a hardwired internet connection to the Servo. You don't have to have it for warranty or anything like that. But if you've got internet connected to your servo, you can see what's happening with your system from anywhere in the world, so on your phone. But the other thing that makes that, that's really helpful having an internet connection is it enables us to assist you remotely. So that's a big part of what we do here. In Shepparton, we've got 50 staff dedicated to designing, building and supporting off-grid systems. So say if you've got a question about your off-grid system, you want to expand your off-grid system or even some troubleshooting, we can log in remotely and see what's going on. There's hundreds of different things that we can see and we can quite often, you know, if the click of a button, we can get your system going. It might be just a simple setting and you're away. Uh, otherwise, uh, we might need to, uh, if it needs further investigation, we can then guide your electrician to get it solved from there. That's a bit of a rundown on the power boards. I, I hope that you found the video helpful. Um, if you have an off-grid project or if you have any questions about off-grid, feel free to give us a call.